According to some estimates, the average corporate email user sends 112 emails every day. A recent study conducted by assistant professor Eric Gilbert of the Georgia Tech School of Interactive Computing shows that nearly 15% of those emails can be classified as gossip. So there are four major findings in the work. The first is that you see gossip quite a bit, so about 15% of the messages we analyzed had gossip in them. The second is that it's distributed across the entire organization, across all the ranks in the organization. But the lowest ranked people, they gossip the most. The final finding was that we see a lot of negative gossip in the corpus, so it's about three times as prevalent as positive gossip. The study is based on what's known as the Enron corpus, which consists of more than 600,000 actual emails salvaged from the former energy trading company following its 2001 bankruptcy. Working with PhD student Tanushree Mitra, Dr. Gilbert examined the Enron emails for messages containing gossip. So we define gossip as any email message which has the name of a person in the body and not in the to or CC or BCC list. You know, one limitation is you might assume that like a message like Eric's going to be late to this meeting isn't gossip, that doesn't qualify. But in the additive sense it really might because if I string a bunch of those messages together, I start to learn that Eric is a late person and I should plan around that the next time I schedule a meeting with him. Despite its negative connotation, Gossip is actually an important form of human communication, allowing people to exchange important social information. Yeah, so I, I, would, I would argue that gossip's got a bad rap, right? We tend to think of it as, you know, neighbors being nasty to, to each other over the fences, right? But it's actually the way we trade social information about one another, right? So sometimes it's nasty and negative. Other times it's just new information about people. And what about that 15% number? That seems like a lot of gossip. I, I was a little surprised, I, and I think it would surprise you know business leaders that their employees are using email to gossip so much. It turns out it's just a basic need to trade information, even in business contexts.